Hi, this is Christine with Cherry Lynn Designs, and today I'm here to show you the Baby's Breath Flower Kit. It's item number B364, and it comes with three dies. Once you cut them out, this is what you will have. You'll have your Baby's Breath branch. You'll have the small Baby's Breath itself. There's actually 21 of those that will cut out. And then you also get these five beautiful little flowers as an accent. And then I just went ahead and I cut centers out for the five flowers in a different color of yellow, which is this die. So here's the branch and it's very simple. All you do is take your stylus and you press down into each one of your baby's breath pieces like this. And it's just to cup them up and to make them look more lifelike and real. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing with these flowers. And they just cup when you do that. And then all you do is place your glue onto the branch. And you go ahead and add the baby's breath. This looks so much like Reels baby's, real baby's breath. And I like to use my tweezers because the pieces are small. And you can put these wherever you like. I also like to overlap a little bit to make it look more real. And all you do is put a little dollop of glue right on top of one of the previous pieces that you've laid down. And just build your branch. And when you do that, it adds more dimension to the piece and makes it look more real. Now this would be perfect to put alongside of any of your flowers if you like to make corsages. I like to make handmade corsages. I'm going to move this onto the white piece of paper just so it's a little bit easier for you to see what I'm doing. The brown is not showing up very well on the mat. And it's not a good idea to glue on your embossing mat anyway. So I'm just taking each one of my baby's breath pieces and I'm using a little poker tool to aid me in getting them off the tweezers. And you can see how fast and easy this is to create a piece of baby's breath. There's lots of different things you can use this for. You can put them around any of your flower arranging that you do in your paper crafting and your cards and your scrapbooking layouts. And I just like to lift this up every so often just to make sure I'm not going to be ripping it because it is a small piece that we're working with. We want to make sure that the glue doesn't stick to the paper and then rip our piece. And as I said, 21 little pieces of baby's breath cut out from your die. And you can use more or you can use less. You can do whatever you want. If you want to use more, obviously, you just cut more pieces out. And if you want to use less, then just save your pieces in a little baggie so that you have them for the next time. And then the flower pieces, you can go ahead and add to this baby's breath piece if you like. This is what we're looking like so far. Or you can use them separately with different colored centers. I like to 
add these to my handmade corsages or any of the flower arrangements that I do on any of my projects because I think it makes it look more real and lifelike when you do this. It is more intricate and delicate because it's a smaller piece, but it's so easy to assemble and put together. And as long as you have a pair of tweezers and an embossing tool, that is all you need. I'm using all 21 of my pieces here. And then I'll bring in my little pink flowers and show you how easy it is to add those as well. And the glue dries clear so you don't have to worry about any of the glue showing through either. And again, just be sure you pick it up off of whatever you're working on so that you know it's not sticking to it. This is what we have so far. Very cute. And then I'm going to hold this up closer to the camera so you can see that simply by pressing down in the center with the stylus how those pink pieces just popped right up. And that's what you want them to do. I'm just going to go ahead and do that again in the yellow ones. And then we'll go ahead and put a little dab of glue in the center of each of the pink. And then add the centers. And sometimes you flatten them down a little bit when you do this, and it's okay because all you have to do then is put them back on your mat and poke them again with your stylus, and they will curve right back up for you. So I'll do, go ahead and add my centers now. Okay, and here's what it looks like. We're going to go ahead and put them back on the mat and curve them up. And we can use them as an accent piece to place alongside of the baby's breath piece, or we can add them right to the baby's breath. I'm going to add, let me just show you what it would look like. You can go ahead and put it right inside there. And you, again, you just put it anywhere that you like. And it just makes a little extension of the baby's breath. And you have to be really careful when you pick it up. And there's your piece. So again, this is item number B364. It is the Baby's Breath Flower Kit from Cherry Lynn Designs. Thank you for stopping by.